Hey guys, so it's time here to see uh, on my Nexus 6 here with the latest Android uh, 6.0 Marshmallow. See if it can match up with the speeds here on my uh, Samsung Galaxy S6, which is uh, Galaxy 6 Edge, which is one of the better Galaxy S6 devices you can get at the moment. Slim, nice, beautiful display here, curved the uh, edges. Uh, I think it's running Android 5.1.1, but, but it could also be 5.1.0, but... Um, we're gonna see that. So, can it match up with developer preview three here on Marshmallow? It's a good question. Let's go. A lot of people complain that touch wrist is slow. So let's see here. You can also see the new boot animation here in Android 6.0 here on the Nexus 6. It looks pretty cool, I guess. Whoops, it daisy. <laughs> People say touch wrist is slow. That's actually not what I see here. That's a good speed. Let's see. What version was we running here? This was um, Android 5.1.2 even. So I'm pretty sure uh, Android 5.1.1 also should be available for this device, or at least Android 5.1, I think at least Android 5.1 exists. But uh, here in the newer version here, in the Nexus 6, go down to about phone, you can see Android 6.0. So it still uses the developer preview, developer preview 3 uh, with the new app drawer here, but uh, um, I'm definitely looking forward to the next Nexus device here from this year because, I mean, to be fair, the Nexus 6, I'm pretty sure it did came out last year. Yeah, it did. Uh, so um, the, the Galaxy S6 Edge here, of course, is a 2015 Samsung smartphone, and we have rumors uh, that we're gonna get the new Nexus phone, Nexus 5, probably like, hopefully, five inch display uh, coming here in 2015, and it will be having a little bit more normal size to hold the phone, because this one with its six inch display, it is massive. And um, the app drawer is a little bit weird, I gotta say, because you do go up and down like this, and here on the Samsung phone, you go down like this, uh, which I think is more better. Uh, but I do enjoy how they have these uh, four quick access there, uh, these four apps. So if I click on fit here, then it should move it up. But again, I mean, this phone is, uh, yeah, it did. But this phone is so big, so yeah, I, I'm not sure how they were thinking there with the uh, size. Uh, but I do enjoy how they have the search here. We don't have any search here. It's a little bit confusing. They should make it a little bit easier, I gotta say. And you can disable some apps here. I'm really not sure if you can it over here. I don't believe so, but uh, they should still speed it up, I gotta say. Uh, I do also find it a little bit weird here. If we just open up a couple of apps, uh, we have the uh, phone app there. And let's say we just now go into multitask. You can see here, you don't have a quick button to close it all. Uh, that's a little bit random, I gotta say. Uh, versus Samsung here, what, that is a little bit smarter in their UI, so you have a quick close all button. Why don't they have that in this version of Android? It's very weird. I find the stock version of Android, you know, they need, they need to make it a little bit more exciting, I gotta say, so. Quickly a video, having fun. Uh, I'm gonna pick up Galaxy 6 Edge Plus, which is a bigger S6 Edge, and I'm probably going to pick up the Note 5 as well. And we get new iPhones around the corner, so stay tuned for that, and have an awesome day. Peace.